a quick check in with the roses since this is early April. Um, Duchessa de Brent, Brent, it's an own root rose, so this little growth down here is Duchessa de Brent. So it's not completely toast like I thought it was. Um, Port Sunlight has some growth down in there. You can see the red and green. Even Evelyn, though it looked dead, um, has some growth to it as well. With Perfuma, Abraham Darby, the Pilgrim, um, Marianne, back there is Mel's Heritage right up against the house. It's got some growth to it. Uh, Sister Elizabeth, Oscar Peterson. These were the first two roses I actually planted, or amongst the first few roses, I guess, that I planted when we moved here in 2020. Um, this is Monsieur Tillier. It does not show any sign of growth, but we will leave it and see. Sofrano, um, which I guess in my blog I can post pictures of how big this thing was. It is showing some growth. Again, it is an owner of roses, so that is Sofrano. Um, to the main rose garden section. This is showing growth. My dog dug up the rose that was there. This one's doing fine. This Cenifolia uh, variegata, nice green. The squire, nice and green. Oh, look at that. Lady M. Hamilton has some growth there and there. We shall see. Uh, screaming neon red. Father Hugo's rose right here uh, with the ferny leaves. The not Varagata di Bologna. Um, so, uh, The uh, Lemon Zen by John Starnes. Most of it was black. It was actually taller than this fence here. And this is what's left of it. This is what's left of my five foot tall Abraham Darby. I don't remember what that one's called. Um, This rose is doing nice. It winds up being a pink rose. Here's a growth on a rose that a dog keeps on running over. Yeah, it looks like I lost Claire Rose. This is another Marianne by Paul Barton. It's doing well. William Morris, it's right here. Um, this is uh, Frau Carl Drewski. Uh, Tuscany Superb with all its suckers that are nice red. This is Tuscany Superb as well. Desiree Parmiette. Parmiette. Oh, I don't speak French. I do apologize for mispronouncing that. Um, the lime, the lighter green, this is Bliss Parfuma. Um, Sister Elizabeth again. Sunblaze, our golden sunblaze right there. Treasure Trail. Bliss Parfuma again. Um, Ellen Koffelmeyer right here. And her sucker is right there. Golden Buddha. Whoops. Right there. Underneath the garlic. Um, this is the known root Abraham Darby. Along with the Tuscany Superb. Another look at Tuscany Superb. Um, Moonlight in Paris is right here. 
it was about yay tall or so before it died back. Um, we're gonna go the other side. I do apologize for the yard. We're in the middle of a construction project for retaining wall, raised bed stuff. So this is Westerland, which I uh, bought and planted beginning of March. And this is what's left of um, Bathsheba. It did not like the negative 20 degree wind chill. This is Desdemona, another pink rose. Looks like it's doing mostly fine. I do need to cut off some of the winter damage right there. Eustacea Vi. Eustacea Vi. Blue for you. Which, eh, it didn't really like the winter, but it was okay. It survived. Um, I can never remember the name of this rose. But it survived. These next two did not. There is one little cane right here. That survived. This one, which wound up being like a whitish color right there here, survived. Countryman by David Austin survived. Lady of Shalott, right here, survived. Tottering by gently, or tottering gently by, or whatever it's called, survived. Another one of a David Austin, Charles the Mills, and Heritage. So, by waiting until April to start cutting back dead growth, I saw that uh, Duchessa de Brown Brown survived, and Sofrano. Um, so I didn't cut off any of their canes that may have had small stuff, but I'm still working on removing all the dead stuff and that should be done probably in the next few weeks or so. And thank you for your time and have a good day.